w- w- were you surprised when they released them? Honestly, so it's tough. Um, part of me was because I think that Elvis had built enough name and had done enough where it was like, all right. Small setback, but, yeah. Right, like, like, yo, like, this dude could fight, bro. Like, there's no question at this point. Like, Elvis could fight, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I felt like, you know, that fight was close enough that, you, you know, if I think it would have swung, whatever it was, it was a close fight. He ain't get waxed. He ain't get dropped. He ain't get hurt. He ain't, you know. So, you, I, I was kind of like, but at the same time, I also knew that Elvis was actually less, um, less surprised than I was. Yeah, that's because what he told me. He said Elvis he felt like it. Elvis the whole time. He felt like, and they treated us like second class citizens, bro. No matter what he did, no matter how many followers he got, no matter. How much people were talking about him, he they always just treated us like second class citizens, yo. It's tough when you can't bring your entire team and other guys have family, friends, and 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 and, and videographers at fights, bro. That yeah, that 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 that's that's pretty crazy. Right, you're yeah. sending a clear message at that point, bro. Yeah. I it, it, it's 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 interesting. was anything was anything ever said to Elvis directly or was everything kind of communicated through you where, you know, uh, to, to communicate to him? Because it, you saying he, he didn't feel comfortable. You saying he didn't feel, he felt like a sec, second class citizen. No, no nothing was ever said to Elvis directly and oh. nothing. And I, I didn't, I hid Elvis. I, I, I didn't tell Elvis whatever was going on behind the scenes, but he felt it. He felt it in the way they were paying him and the way they were treating him and the way they would treat his team. Like, it was kind of like, yo, what's happening right now, bro? Yeah. You know, like, there was a point there where it was like, yo, why am I getting, like, this ridiculous pay right now, bro? Like... Can, can you mention how much he was getting paid for the Cameron Creel fight for the... I think he made 8500 for Cameron Creel and twenty five for Kenneth Sims. Twenty-five thousand for Kenneth Sims. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let me um. I'm, I need to rewind a little bit. I okay. Need to, so when I had come back from, oh, when 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 uh, from from the Elvis came came back from DR for the Luis Beron fight because of, you know, his name was buzzing, bro, and every and he was like, you know like in, in talks of prospect of the year and he was fighting so often. What happened was Elvis spars like he fights, bro. So like, if you were going to spar him, just know, yo, you in for a tough one, bro. <laughs> and yeah, not everybody's like that, bro. Yeah, that's he true. Is, in, in New York is not that, that, that's not, that's not the way we spar. I know, I know in the West coast, you guys spar hard. Yo, it, like it, it, like it's crazy, bro. And he be put every every single camp he put somebody out, bro. <coughs> Knock out. I, he's he's knocked guys out. He's dropped. He sent guys to hospitals twice, bro. Bro, that's <laughs> twice, bro. He, he wouldn't be able to get sparring in New York if he did that. So, so with all of that, and 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 it was like when when we came back from, um. From, from DR for the Luis Verón fight, um, it was like I swear to God, it was like every a, every boxer in LA had gotten together and been like and was like, "Yo, we ain't sparring him unless he's paying, bro." <laughs> and I was like, "Wait a minute!" And these guys were asking a lot, yo. Know? So I so at that point I was like, "Yo, listen, I need y'all that like I understand that you know we're building a kid and whatever it is. So if you if you can make it up somewhat in his pay, then at least pay for the help spot. me out with tr- with training camp, right? And bro, that like they were like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I got to run around for that, bro. And I'm like, yo, how is my how are my monthly expenses increasing almost double, but his pay is not okay. right? Like we need to somehow. Like, I, I'm not asking you to pay for camp. I'm not. I'm asking you to help me pay for sparring. That's it, bro. That's it. And, you know, I got like the run around and then finally I was able to get 
finally I got someone on the phone who was able to make it happen. And then, like, I think guys got offended that I spoke to their bosses. Like, you went over their head, so they felt right. a certain way. But what am I supposed to sit and wait? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, no, no, I get it. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. At the end of the day, we, you you running a business. And if, 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 if it's, if it's, you know, protocol to go directly to somebody and they're not doing what you got to do, your business requires you in your best interest to go over exactly. his head and get and get it right. done. And you did get it done. Right. And you tell me, and you telling me, first of all, that you need to go to this person anyway. So, you know, some, let me go to that person, bro. Yeah. All right. All right. You know what I'm saying? And, and then, like, bro, it, you know, it was what it was. They got us released. I, I didn't say nothing. Elvis didn't say nothing. We kept it quiet. And then they just started with the fucking 